The residents of Collinwood on this night are unaware of dangers that exist elsewhere. Joe Haskell has accepted an invitation to go to a strange house by the sea. In that house, to his surprise, he has found a frightened, desperate girl. He does not know the danger she represents, for in reality, she is one of the living dead. I have to escape from Nicholas. I need someone to help to do that. Escape? As he's keeping me here prisoner against my will. What? That's right. He's keeping me here, in this house, and I can't get away from him. Why can't you just phone the police? Oh, you don't understand. It's not that simple. No, I don't understand. Now, look, why don't you just tell me your name and tell me exactly what's going on? I can't. There isn't time. Be walking through that door any moment. If he even suspects that I've said anything to you, he'll... He'll... I, I don't know. You're really terrified of him, aren't you? Yes, and I have every reason to be terrified. Why? What's he done to you? Terrible things. I can't tell you. Well, I think you better tell the police. Come on, I'll take you down to the sheriff's office right now. No, if I do that, Nicholas will be furious. He'll... He'll try to harm me. I... Will you protect me? Well, sure, if it comes to that. Am I finally going to be free? Am I finally going to escape from him? Now, don't cry, huh? I can't help it. It's, it's such a relief to know that someone's willing to help me. I just... Well, Blair is not going to harm you. We'll just keep him away from you. I'm so relieved. You have no idea. I know I'm acting very foolishly. Do you mind if I put my head on your shoulder for a moment? Oh, of course not, if it'll make you feel better. Oh, you're kind. You're so very kind. Oh, just stop crying. You're going to be all right. Yes. Yes, I am going to be all right. Now. No harm is going to come to you. Not as long as I have something to do with it. of Collinwood, a night filled with unknown terror, for far from the great house there is one who will summon a man to his ultimate destruction. Nicholas. I've ex been expecting you, my dear. Where is he? Your friend. Haskell? Yes, have you sent for him? No, my dear. If your friend is to be summoned, you must do the summoning. He will hear you. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. He needs you now as much as you need him. He will hear you. Oh, Haskell. Let the wind carry my voice to you. Hear me calling you. Come to me. Come to me. I can hear her calling to me. I've got to resist the call. I've got to. Joe. 
You need me as I need you. You must come to me now. You need me. You want me. Come. Come to me. I need her. I want her. I can't resist her any longer. I can't. You know how to find me. Come as quickly as you can. Come through the forest, to the house by the sea. You will be drawn to this house, irresistibly drawn. Through the forest, to the house by the sea. A grave. No, I wasn't doing that. Come on, Willie. I'm going to take you to the sheriff. No. No, I... <laughs> Sometimes Colin would sense his peace when nightfall comes. But peace is not the only spirit to exist this night on the vast estate. Where, in a far-off corner, other spirits even now react to disturbing news. And what they do is sure to affect the lives of all who live in the great house itself. You look very happy. Oh, shouldn't I be? No, you should not. I just talked to the hospital. Tom Jennings is beginning to come out of his coma. Have I time to go to him now? No. We will wait until tomorrow morning, and then I will arrive at the hospital as a concerned visitor. What if he says something to someone? The ravings of a newly conscious man. You're taking quite a chance. What if they won't let you see him? That would be a shame for him as well as for me. In that case, of course, I would let you take care of it. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Tomorrow will be a most crucial day for Mr. Jennings, a climax his doctors are not expecting. In a house on a remote section of the great estate Collinwood, a vampire's coffin holds a secret that only two people know. One is her master, the other her slave, who knows not what he does or why. And on this day he sits in a hospital waiting room, stunned at the strange turn his life has taken. Visiting hours started yet? I had hoped to see Dr. Beavers before he started his morning rounds. 
Tell me, tell me, how's your cousin? Tom Jennings. Did he regain consciousness? Yes, he did. I'm glad. Have the police spoken to him? No. Did he tell you what happened? Yes, he told me. It was an animal that attacked him? Joe, I'm sorry, but but we're all concerned about him. If, if it isn't an animal, then the police should be involved. Yes, it should be. But they won't be, ever. Well, why not? Because he's dead. race against time at Collinwood, for night has come, and with it a new threat, the rising of a new vampire. One man has risked his life and his reputation to end the vampire's career before it can start. And in the old house on the estate, one woman waits to learn the result. Thank God you're here. I was afraid you'd still be with Joe Haskell. No, he left me. What happened? We uncovered the coffin. We opened it. Julia, he was gone. What are we going to do, Julia? Just as I walked in the darkness such a short time ago, tonight, another vampire walks. Oh. 